All right, welcome, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining today. Today we're gonna to do some theory crafting. And uh, what that is, is basically, we're gonna take my character here and uh, we're gonna to put together some ship, uh, ship fits and, and see what is gonna be the best options for, um, for this character and save those and then um, don't know whether or not we'll get to fly them today, but we will be flying them this week. So, and we'll do that on the show. Um, <clears throat> Ryan, thank you for uh, following. Welcome. So, uh, let's see here. Okay, so this is my this is my Kaldari character, Kaldari faction warfare character, and she's uh, she's pretty skilled. Let me bring bring her up here. And uh, so she's got, um, let's see, 54 million skill points. And uh, she's, she does quite amazing, actually. So this character is a character I purchased uh, and had just core skills. So just had like, you know, um, you know, electronics, engineering, these different things. Will I post fits in live shows? Sure. Yeah, I don't have any problems with that. And other people can share fits in live shows. And we'll see how they're working. And what we're going to do is probably each one of the fits that we decide on, or I decide on, that I'll be doing, um, I'll probably build like 10 of them. And uh, we'll list them as a test fit. And then if they are working good, I will take and change the name of that fit to say that basically it's good and I want to stick with this. Uh, some way to, to indicate that it that it's working out well. So this uh, this particular ship right here, this is a shit fit, <laughs> and uh, it is it is not interesting at all. Um, I really think there's a ton of improvement on this. Uh, this ship is slow and clumsy, and and there's a couple of different things, a couple of different goals on this. You know, so one goal is PvP. The other goal is things like the Crimson Harvest or capturing sites, that type of thing. I, I took this out to, to do the Crimson Harvest stuff um, because it just it was the best ship that I had for that. And frankly, this fit is probably at least two years old. So, um, yeah, let's see here. It's not in frigate. This is a cruiser. This is Caracal, and, and and I put dates on my stuff here, and uh, so this is a uh, staple remover. That's what I call it. It looks like a staple remover, doesn't it? I mean, some of you are too young to know what a freaking staple remover looks like, but um, this thing this thing kind of looks like a, a staple removers that were single piece, not the jaws, and uh, so. It looks like I did this in January of 2016, so almost two years ago was the last time that, that I played with this fit. And so my goal here is that I'm going to take and um, we're going to build ships, everything that's a Mastery 5. Uh, and then, and then probably we're going to end up doing a uh, caracal or something like that, um, because I because I need that, or maybe even a, a moa. Actually, I don't think she has the big guns yet. So um, I have several ships here, and oh, don't tell them about corded telephones. Yeah, or that caller ID never existed. You know, when we had to know phone numbers. Can you imagine? Isn't this, isn't this how it is nowadays? How many of you remember a phone number of someone you call other than your parents? I know my wife's phone number by heart, but, and I know my dad's phone number by heart, and those are the only two. So, yeah, uh, because we just don't know them anymore. So, yeah, do you remember when we had caller ID boxes that you plugged into your phone? Um, in the cord, and we thought that was amazing. Holy shit, we can see who's calling. Yeah. Yep. So, 
Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there are so many things that younger generations don't even know. And, and that's okay. It's not, not any of you who are younger and don't know this stuff. I'm not knocking you one single bit. Because, because you guys have figured out some stuff that others haven't. So, look at it that way. So, oh yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, we didn't have voicemail. Uh, you know, we had, we had answering machines and they were tapes. Yes, and rotary dial phones. Hell, when I was a kid, and I'm not that old, I'm 47, 46, and I remember that my grandparents, when I was visiting them, that they had a party line. And the party line connected to the hotel across the street. And so anytime anyone was talking from the hotel that was across the street on the party line, they... Uh, they just had to wait, and they'd pick up, they'd hear somebody talking, and they'd have to put it back down again and just wait. It was really strange. Yeah. Um, so, so Felistic Lemur. Sorry, you're having problems. Control F5, buddy. Okay, so, anyway, my goal today is that, um, that we're going to take these uh, ships that are Mastery 5, which I have several of them, and we're gonna we're gonna build some fun fits. Um, oh shit! I never know how old I am, Lepo. And uh, we're gonna build some fun fits. So um, I don't need a fly catcher here, even though I got Mastery Five on it. I haven't trained it. So so we're gonna build some fun fits, and um, then uh, yeah. So you know we could even do some troll fits for. Uh, Badger or Tyra? Because I can do both of those. Yeah. You know, some like epic, uh, epic fits that have enormous tanks just for fun. So, yeah. All right. So that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do. And, and then we're gonna, um, take. I kid you not, we're going to look through some of Zarvox's fits. Zarvox has really good fits. There may be a couple of other people that have really good fits, and we're going to look for his deaths, his losses. And um, and so, um, you know, and stuff that, that is in the wheelhouse here. So, yeah. And so we're going we're gonna to look at some of the Kaldari stuff and uh, that he has, plus we will uh, look in uh, Osium. So these are going to be my go-to places. Okay, so what I think that I should do at the beginning here, so I think I should get out of the ship tree, and I think that I should uh, probably fly back to my um, starting point. And let me see if I can take this stuff with me. Or at least these uh, Crimson Harvest things with me. I may die. I may die. But you know what? Oh, well, the old Oregon Trail game. Yeah. Hey, we'll see here. See if I can make it through. Drive active. So a cruiser going gate to gate out here, not typically a uh, good idea. Hello, Ken. I have not trained up any of the blockade runner and I probably won't on this character just to do a troll fit. I'd rather train uh, uh, guns and some other stuff because on her projectiles she's not very good. Um, but missiles, perfect skills. Uh, drones, near perfect skills. Um, and in uh so i need guns because caldari is always is guns as well
Work's been keeping you busy? Well, welcome, uh, Sorrow. Welcome to the live show. Hey, we're gonna make it through. Unless there's a gate camp on the other side of this. Cloaked that typhoon, or he just happened to uncloak right there. Drive active. All right, we're going to make it back. Sure we would. So I'm thinking uh, Thursday or Friday we'll be flying some faction warfare stuff. Anything new on the business side of things? Yes, but I can't talk about what's about to happen. In fact, business side of things might, might cancel two of the shows next you week sir, because rock. I'll be uh, flying out of town for a business meeting. Flying out just for a meeting. So, the name's not Jack. Thank you so much for resubbing. Docking request accepted. Let's see here. Four months in a row. There we go. 40 gold to everybody here in honor of the name's not Jack. So, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so Perry, uh, yeah, some stuff coming up. Hey, I have a ton of stuff in here. So I wanted to come back here because I do have uh, certain fits and everything. And, uh, and so, you know, I may I may already be using some of these or whatnot, and some of these some of these are going to end up having to be scrapped and resold or something like that. But yes, and Friday is a soda telethon, so uh, we will be doing some shroud on Friday as well, but not all day. So because I also have shroud on Saturday, and don't tell anybody, but I have a special guest that'll be on the show on Saturday. It'll be Star Long, Dark Star. So, you will be on the show with me on uh, Saturday. So, okay. This ship right here is a piece of shit. So, um, clams. I just started building my first wave of capital, uh, capital ship building. Do I have any tips on how to make the most profit per ship built? <sighs> Deep subject, man. The biggest part of that is to not build anything where you're not going to make any money and to pre-calculate everything. So, um, okay, we are, I guess I'll just sit in this uh, ship for the moment. And now let's just start going through, here's what we're going to do. Um, actually, let me, uh, let me bring up my Kaldari stuff. Or here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this kind of in an odd order. So we're gonna we're gonna look at um, at Zarbox Toral's losses, and based off of his um, his losses, um, we're gonna take some of these and maybe um, build them as as a test. And so what we'll do is we'll import them in onto my character here and uh, see how they how they feel. So Tommy, yes, there will be more uh, Mud Runner. So uh, I haven't put any on the schedule yet, but there will be more. So uh, what I'm looking for here is Kaldari. 
and this is, is, is that a, uh, let's see which one, that's a cormorant, okay. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this. And you just gotta make sure they didn't put together some shit fit, you know, some, every once in a while he's just got um, something really crazy out there, but, but Zarvox's stuff tend to be pretty good. So, how much did the game cost? What game would that be? Mudrunner? I got it at a really cheap rate because I pre-purchased and I owned spin tires. So, I don't remember how much, but less than half price. So, <coughs> so this right here, um, Cormorant, looks not too bad. Let me see if I have on my stuff here, if I've got uh, Cormorant as one of my ships yet, how close I am on that. See, Cormorant, I'm only tech two. Hey, let's let's see how close I am on this stuff. I have 94 days to be tech five, seven days to be tech four. Okay, let's see what's needed here. So sharp shooting, rapid firing, small rail gun specialization, Small blasters, surgical strike, trajectory analysis, small projectile. Yeah, it looks like I have everything in here for all the guns. Everything here that's left for the guns. I really hate how loud the this window is. And um, then we get into destroyer stuff. Looks like some of the command burst stuff and cruiser. And it looks like I do not have everything in here. Uh-oh. The game just locked up. I had a lot of trouble getting the game going this morning. I think my whole computer locked up. What the fuck? Oh my god. No! You guys aren't even seeing what the output is on this. It's fucking crazy. Hey, let me start that client again. Yeah, I, I've been crashing really bad with my clients today. Um, I've had about 10 crashes with my clients. So one of my clients is still up and running, the other one's not. But it bogged out all of my monitors. Um, all of my monitors connected to this machine, they all had like high bit ASCII characters all over them and stuff. So I'm not quite sure what was going on. It was almost like a driver failure. Connecting. Yeah, we're trying to reconnect to this one. We'll see what happens. Hey, right. yeah, reconnected. Uh, that was some sort of video card error. This is running on my Titan. So, all right, try this again. Hey, right, so I was looking at the Cormorant. Seven days, it's all about guns. Rapid firing right there. Sharpshooter right there. Surgical strike. Um, right here. Trajectory analysis right here. Yeah, 
Is, is this fit blaster fit or what is it? Yeah, these are blasters. So we're gonna need the blaster stuff on that. Hey, right, we're gonna we're gonna wait on that one because I do not have uh, that as uh, I don't have a mastery five on it yet. It's all in the guns. All of my stuff that I need is in the guns. So 94 days, and um, and I got it all right here. So we'll keep working on that. That'll be nice. That'll be done. And uh, and so that 93 months. That'll be mastery. Uh, that mastery. And so all my small gun stuff should be good. Um, okay. So. Let's see what else. Uh, let's see what else he's got. He's got a moa here. Gosh, I would love. I love flying moas. I absolutely love moas. Oh, it's a blaster moa. Wow, that's an expensive moa. Fifty-one million. Wow. Yeah, that that's actually really expensive. So. Hey. But I don't have Mastery 5 on that yet either. So I'm going to look through and find some others. Oh, this is interesting. Griffin Navy issue. Let's see here. Where is the Griff the Griffin... <clears throat> So I only have mastery one on this. 149 days, what's missing? Electronic countermeasures. How does he have his fit? So this is, this is really theory crafting what it is. Um, so let's see here. What? Oh my god, yeah, we're not uh, going to be replicating this one. Uh, Frickin' billion on it. I mean, I'm happy to fly anything that, that somebody hands me. If somebody handed me this, I would go out and fly it, and that would be a lot of fun. Um, but um, this is a little bit crazy. So, yeah. Yeah, that that's a little bit crazy. So, okay, let's continue on. Oh, Roke. Man, I love my Roke, too. I've got a couple of them on my Marky Dragon character. And, uh... So... Yeah, this is another really expensive one. In Faction Warfare, that wouldn't go over too well. Okay, there's another Roke, another Flycatcher. Here's a Caracal. Now, my interest in this, I don't have Mastery 5 on the Caracal either. But I'd just be interested to see what he's got here, because... It might be something else to do. This is actually very similar to what I'm flying right now. And here I was saying this fit was really old and shit. But the lows all look the same. Um, rapid Light Missile Launcher 2s. Shielding. Uh, this might even be the same. So, <clears throat> my shit fit that I've got here may not really be that shitty. Oh, he doesn't have any tackle on this. So, yeah. Let's see... Yeah, so I know he flies a lot of stuff that he didn't build himself. And um, and so I'm not just like blindly anything that he's died in going to build that. So we're going to look at it and see if it makes sense, uh, both in money and in performance. So uh, honor tackle. Hmm. So, yeah. The old ways of gambling. Isk. Yes, that doesn't really happen too much anymore. So, 
not that they'll stop people from gambling in the game, but if it if they take any of the gambling outside of the game, they stop it immediately. So, um, okay, so I'm actually kind of on the right track, but I'm going to wait until I'm Mastery 5 on that, on the Caracal, before I uh, start building those. Okay, so here we go. Now, this is one that I know I'm Mastery 5 on, the Hook Bill. And this is 36 million, so that's not out of the out of the range of things. Uh, it's got rocket launchers. And um, that's interesting. These are both uh, high meta. And, uh, okay. So, let's look at... Um, let's hop into one of mine that I've got. So, and I'm pretty sure I'm Mastery 5 on it. Yep, I am. And I've got uh, some of these right now. So I built these in March of last year. And uh, so it might even be close to... Uh, Uh, there's a power module in this one. IFFA. I wonder if I have that power module in there because I didn't have enough power before. Now that I'm Mastery 5, I may. So, oh, and this has a, well, this has a micro warp drive as opposed to, um, the other propulsion. Okay, so let's, um, let's see if we can find frigates here. So this needs uh, a uh, implant. A warp scrambler, Kaldari Navy. You know what? This is almost nearly the same. Except is this warp scrambler, or is this? It is. It's Tech one, warp scram strength two. You know this one's cheaper, and I think it's the same bang for the buck. What are my thoughts on the porpoise? Well, it does have a porpoise in the game. It's a, it's a mini orca. Um, it's a stepping stone until you're able to get into an orca. That's what I think. Or if you need to fly something that's giving boosts that has less um, value to it. So anyway, this one feels pretty good. Um, <clears throat> and I have a bunch of them. Uh, I actually really like this, really like this fit, and I think that I even have the implants in here for this. Um, yeah, see, this needs a CPU implant, 1%. And uh, there's a CPU 2%, 6 million implant. And uh, so... Yeah, this one, this one feels pretty good. All right, let's, um, let's look at what, uh, let's see, I have another one here called Borked. And exit simulation. Why was I in a simulation? Okay. Yeah, so this, this, I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah, that's why this one's called Borked. Let's uh, just... Put that puppy back together. Let's uh, just repackage that. Take the loss on those rigs. It's fine. Um, no, I'm not short on power grid on, on these. So, in fact, look at that. See, this is... Um, let's see, do I have another version of this here. Are these the same. 
Yeah, so it looks like maybe I need to buy some of those. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, I'm not short on power grid. The power grid, it, it's it's flashing, but it's at just at zero. I'm just using 100% of it. So, and this one's a lot cheaper overall. Um, but I think that uh, it has a little bit more power. Yeah, I think its stats here are, it's actually a little bit better um, with the power grid and it's 10 million cheaper. So, all right, so uh, here is um, first one here. Let's see here. Um, I'll put this in live shows. So that's one we're gonna be doing. And uh, so it says power 1%, but it's actually CPU 1%. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a mail to uh, another one of my characters. And we're going to title it Buy This Shit. And I already know that this is a good fit. I have flown it before. We tested it. I remember testing this and feeling it was really good. So hover should show decimal points. It's at zero. It doesn't show any decimal points and you know. Oh, power grid, 100.11%. Well, what the fuck? Okay. Um. Let's see here. So I can't do a power and a CPU at the same time on this. So we got to refigure this just a little bit then. So let's see here. Hello. The afterburner could possibly go to high meta. <clears throat> Let's see, variations, compare. What we need to do is we need to reduce power grid and CPU. So, power grid. Where's my CPU level on this? All right, and so it's this one right here. So we're looking to reduce power grid usage first. All right, so this is 11 and 15, and high meta is 10 and 15. Here's 9 and 13. What is the uh, velocity bonus on these? 125%, 125%. Well, there's no reason we would not go with the uh, compact. Yeah. So, no reason we wouldn't go with the compact on that. And so, let's pull that off. And put that on. Okay, so we're still two two points on uh, on CPU and um, see this if we let me uh, put rockets in this it's 184 DPS it is stable which is very important so Uh, let's see here. So we're already Okay, we're looking to reduce two CPU if we can without really giving stuff up 
So we'll close that. Because if you leave it open, then it muddies the water. It'll put in two items at once. Okay, let's look at variations on this. Compare. And let's see. Um, the velocity stuff. Accuracy fall. Okay. CPU usage. Power grid usage. Optimal range. So I got I got fleeting compact in here and enduring. So the enduring is 55%, 55%. So those are the same. CPU usage 25 and 1. And this is 20 and 1. It makes sense that I'd use two fleeting. Yeah, makes perfect sense that I would do that. So um, we'll take the uh, enduring out of here. Oops. Come on, I guess I gotta drop it in there. And then we'll put another uh, fleeting in. And look at that, we are stable and don't need an implant. And then, um, we could look at whether or not we could, we could upgrade the um, warp scram or the uh, shield here. So we'll close this. Let's look, do we want shields or do we want warp scrambler? I think we want shields. So again, compare variations. Power, CPU, shield hit point bonus, and um, so let's go by shield hit point bonus. We're on an F9, which is 26 and 26, and this is 30 and 35, which I'd be way over on those. It looks like I don't have much of a choice on this. So <laughs> that stays the way it is. Okay, well, let's look at the, the, the scram. And see if there's any bonus that we can get off of this. Okay, so... Let's go off of uh, optimal range. And which one is this? This is the initiated compact warp scrambler. It's this one right here. It's 26 and one. And interesting. So there's this other one that's 18 and one. Our Caldari Navy warp scrambler. It's 22 and one. And has a warp scram strength of three. See, now I should be considering this because the warp scram strength on here, as long as these aren't too expensive, um, three is going to hold somebody a hell of a lot better than a two. Uh, a three might even hold somebody who has a warp stab. So let's uh, see what the market says on these. Oh, fuck, they are expensive. Hey, right, let's... Um, Let's let's see what uh, we'll see what they are in Jita. Um, yeah, all of these are, and this is twenty six. So um, twenty six and one, I get at least the same there, and then. These other ones down here, they cost more on that. So Federation Navy, Canid. I'm looking, I'm gonna look at these that fit here. Hey, okay. I have another character up, up here that happens to be at, at Jita.
48 million. None of these. 58 million. 88 million. 47 million. I'm not really feeling like uh, like that's going to be worth it. That's tripling the cost at minimum of the ship. So, <coughs> I think there we have it. This is the ship. Okay, so I'll share this with you in live shows um, here. Let's uh, this and this does not need an implant. Welcome to the dragons. The amount of ammo here, I think it looks decent. That's that's gonna be a fine ship. <coughs> Snap, frackle, pop. Thank you for following. Welcome. Hey, okay, let's uh, put that one in here. This is two webs and a scram. Nobody is getting away from this unless they kill you. So that feels like a pretty good fit to me. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that, I think this feels really good. Uh, Sados, you, you got a uh, little mining fleet going. You're sitting there to get another count to move, uh, Freighter for moving ore. Yeah, why not? What are the rigs? So the rigs are small core defense field extender one, small anti-EM screen reinforcer one, and small anti-EM screen reinforcer one. So two of them are the same. I think this will be... Um, Good. Oh, you think anything active tank will kill me? So my HP is low. Hmm. Yeah. So, well, that's why we're going to try it. So we're going to... Um, Play with these some and which freighter do I recommend uh, here are you are you mining high sec where's my freighter welcome to the dragon well then. Hmm. I, I recommend Galante. Galante also has the most uh, versatility on industrial ships. I seriously do not see my freighter here. I must have... Where the hell did I leave my freighter? Now I'm going to have to search for it.
Why the hell is it all the way out there? This bothers me. It's actually someplace else. I'm like, what? Why is it out there? So, um... Oblesk. That's what I recommend. I'm only Mastery 4. I thought I was Mastery 5 on this. What am I missing? One thing of shield management. How did I do that? Shall fix that. Put that in my queue. <laughs> yeah, where the hell did I leave my freighter? Oh, all these books? Yeah, I uh, I buy books here in Jita and I ship them uh, to Null and sell them. So I have like 2.4 billion in books sitting right here. So. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go get my freighter. I have no idea because I'm going to use the freighter to send the stuff over. No idea. So this right here, folks, if you have a freighter, you always carry a leopard. You want to know why? Um, <clears throat> so... Uh, this thing is the bomb. Uh, they are around 100 million, I think. Oh, 181 million? I guess they've gone up in price. Holy shit, they've gone up in price. Okay. So, uh, but it flies at 20 AU. And, and it is, uh, 1.5 seconds to enter warp. It's, it, you know, unless you get smart bombed or something, it's nearly impossible to, um to catch it. So let's see here. It's very fast. Active. Somebody was targeting me, you hear that? Yeah, they Warp like drive active. popping these things. This ship is called a leopard. How do you get the hangar on the right side of your agent? So it's in your general settings and it says combine uh, hangar. All right, so you, the reason Rock. the reason that I recommend the um, drive active. The reason that I recommend an, a uh, a blesk is because of the sheer amount of EHP you can get on them. And if you're, especially if you're in high sec, if you're in high sec, I recommend um, a Fenrir. Or, I mean, if you're in, in low sec or null, I recommend a Fenrir. Uh, high sec, I recommend the Oblask. And the reason for that is, um, is that um, the Oblask. You can get an incredible amount of EHP, and if somebody is bumping you at a gate and they bring out ships to pop you, they tend to underestimate how many they need to pop you. And uh, and then in null and low sec, I like the Fenrir because it can get to warp a lot faster. So you're less likely to be caught. If you're caught in low or null sec, you're just fucked. It, it's just simple as that. So. Yeah. Warp drive. So active. I'm I'm going to get my thing here, and uh, 
Lux and Will, thank you for following. Welcome. And Morai, both follow and a sub. So I'm going to hook you up. Let's see here. So, a thousand gold to you. Moi. Moi? Is it Moi? Maybe that's what it is. A thousand gold to you. Spend that however you want. Dungeon raids, giveaways, or dancers. And ten gold to everybody here in Moi's honor. So, I'm thank you and welcome. I appreciate it. Warp drive active. Yeah, this thing enters warp so fast it hasn't even fully uncloaked. So, uh, since these are a shuttle, um, they don't have a fit on them, and so I'm going to end up putting this inside the ship. I must have I must have had my freighter out here, and I'm like, oh, I got to get that, I got to get back, you know, type of thing. So. Yeah, so here is... I know, it's kind of a, here's this ship, and then in my fit here, I will repackage this and put it in there. And then uh, depending on what kind of stuff I was doing, if I was picking up ore and stuff, uh, and there was a possibility of miners coming to mess with me, I would have my reinforced bulkheads in. So. But on this instead, what I have is um, um, these Serpentis, Shadow Serpentis Inertia Stabilizers allows me to get to warp in 53 seconds instead of 41. So, and if I put in this other stuff, it'll be even slower, it'll be a minute. So, this is, this is really fast getting to, getting to warp. So, let's see here. Seeing if I built anything here that I need to take with me. Yeah, stuff all over the place here. It's because I buy stuff out in this area, and so I've had a lot of purchases that I've made. Okay. So we're going to fly this back empty. Uh, it takes over 50 seconds whenever, uh, whenever uh, you have the other stuff in. Warp drive active. So Fenrir's, you can get them down to 13 seconds. So even as a freighter, it's slow. I mean, or it's fast even as a freighter, but freighters are slow. And this one is ugly too. I don't particularly care for the, the look of it, but its stats are right. And that's important. This is not a jump freighter. So this is a freighter, jump freighter. So. I also do have, um, I have, let's see, I have nomads 
And I have a uh, counterpart of this. I forget what it's called. And I have, I have an Ancher and I have two Nomads and I have two Rias. <laughs> I have a few Jump Freighter pilots so that I can do a lot of hauling simultaneously. I do not use them very often. If you want to make ISK, should you invest in a Jump Freighter or Oracle? Uh, it depends. Do you want to do mining or do you want to do hauling? A haul, you know, hauling stuff, I think is better. For Oracle, you need a support team to be flying it. Jump Freighter, you need a sign up. Both of them require two accounts. Oh yeah, I can be scrammed if I'm at war with somebody, but I'm not at war with anybody. At least I don't think I am. Now you're going to make me look. No, no wars. I would not take this out if I was at war. I have other freighter pilots. Um, one of them is very intentionally in a NPC corp so that uh, I can just have him move around anything if I get war decked. So, so I don't worry about it too much. You, sir, rock. Chris Meeks, thank you so much. Four, seven. All right. So, let's see here. Chris, I'm looking you up here. Looks like a brand new sub. All right. Thousand gold to you. Spend that however you want. Dungeon raids, giveaways, or dancers. Everybody give it up for Chris. Because of them, another 10 gold to everybody here in their honor. All right. Okay, right, so we're about 10 minutes away from uh, doing the drawing. Oh, wait, we got another drawing to do here, too. So let's let's get a two-for-one going on here. Exclamation point, ticket space one or higher in Twitch chat. We'll get you in on... Um, it'll get you in on a giveaway for a standard account... It's worth about 20 bucks, except right now we have them on sale, and that's only for a couple more days. On sale for 10 bucks each. But if you're going to buy one, you want the premium one, because the premium one has $47 worth of stuff in it, and it costs literally 25 bucks on our store right now. But the one we're giving away for free is Standard Edition. Tomorrow we're going to be giving away a uh, uh, premium. So get in on that. Got a couple of minutes, and then we'll do a draw for 200 viewers. I gotta start writing it up. Doesn't this take forever to fly? It's slow. See, I forgot to bring up my prize sheet. All right. All right, suspense. So you're in Moose Army now. That's awesome. Welcome to the Dragons. Okay. Warp drive active. Oh, and if you're using a freighter, remember to use autopilot? Yeah. Right. Um, so. These things are so slow. 
No, I don't, um, don't use uh, high grade ascendancies. Uh, I have, um, I do have a clone that's for when I do a lot of freightering that has, he actually, that clone has, I think it's 4.8 billion in uh, implants that are used for speed and navigation. And I am able to, I think, instead of 23 seconds, I think I'm down at like 16 seconds on uh, alignment to warp. Um, and it's a little bit faster and stuff, but uh, I don't, uh, as, a, as a matter of general course, I don't um, use that uh, clone. So, Sipmonk and uh, Martz Zavu D10, thank you for uh, following. Welcome. Okay, let's do this draw. Everybody should be in by now. I'm closing it and drawing. Congratulations, man of the past. You are the winner. Man of the past. So, there we go. Man of the past, check your Twitch mail. You'll find that contained within. All right. So, you can apply this to an existing account as well if you've never applied one before. So, and it'll even upgrade your, uh, you know, it'll upgrade an alpha to omega, but it'll also extend omega by a month. And it has 150 plex in it and some other stuff, so. All right, if you missed out on that one, no sweat, because here is another drawing for another one. So exclamation point ticket space one or higher in Twitch chat will get you in on the next drawing. And we'll draw 300 viewers at the end of the show. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure how long the show's going today. I've got so much stuff to do, <clears throat> including uh, uh, meetings with big, huge named video game companies. Uh, yeah. And then next week, it looks like I'm going to be out Wednesday and Thursday. Probably not going to be able to tell you what I'm doing, it's probably going to be secret. <clears throat> but if you want to speculate, I'm going to Little Rock, Arkansas for a business meeting. <laughs> How's that for speculation and, and so far out into left field? All right. So now we're going to do the... Um, now we're going to do a couple other drawings. And uh, these are for... Uh, it's for the very last, that is not where Atari is. Atari, I happen to know, is um, is Madison Avenue in New York. So, yeah. I cannot wait. You cannot navigate to that object because it is too far. I was hitting the wrong button. Uh, the game code website will be brought to you by Walmart. No, not quite. Yeah, but you guys can speculate all you want because you'll never guess. But when I tell you what it is, when we're ready to announce this, you're probably going to think it's pretty kick-ass. So, because um, it's actually gonna benefit all of you guys so okay <clears throat> uh, let's see here now we're gonna bask in the glory of landing at Jita and getting docked and uh, then we will uh, I'm gonna show you what uh, what is um, what is coming up so I'm going to show you what the next uh, the next drawing is, and uh, we're going to uh, pick the next winner. So it is the very last second decade edition box, and we're going to ship it to the winner anywhere in the world. So yeah, 
Gosh, it takes so long. I forgot how long it takes to fly with this thing. And they're totally spoiled by the leopard, huh? This, by the way, is Jita at 4K. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right. There we go. Okay, so <clears throat> let me show you this here. So this is the next giveaway we're doing from our store. And I'm putting the link in uh, Twitch chat and YouTube chat. And uh, you do need to have a login for our store. This is a free entry. You just put it in your, you put it into your cart and you check out. And it won't charge you anything. So unless you're, unless you're buying something else at the same time, like you know one of the premium editions for 25 bucks on sale. Yeah, I'll just throw that in there. Uh, so we uh, don't have a huge number of these ships left. and uh, But this is one of them. It's a Raven ship model. In fact, do I have my Raven here? No. We've got another one that you guys are going to be able to bid on, which I'm almost ready to start that, um, which um, it's one of the, uh, the little ones you see back here. Um, let's see here. It's uh, <clears throat> one of the Amar uh, ships. But uh, yeah, hopefully next week I have that going. <clears throat> so this uh, Raven ship here, it, uh, it weighs probably about four pounds or so. It's pretty big. And, um, and anyway, you get an entry in our uh, store uh, you get an entry, you can get a free entry, plus you can, uh, anytime you make a purchase, it's an additional entry. So, um, Greg Race says, hi, Marky, your streaming is awesome, buddy. Thanks. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. So, uh, anyway, that's at our store and you can get in on that. Now, the last, uh, the last one we did is the, um, last month's drawing. Oh, and we'll contact you by email if you win. It's not like you have to be here. So let me see here. All right. Um, so now because, because these drawings are um, based upon customer accounts in our store for this particular monthly one, we don't show like the role on it or anything. And it's because we can't. We have to keep information private. So, um, ah, ATX Outlaw bought some of the Rifters. And they came in, and they are awesome. Thank you for your hard work. You are welcome, buddy. Glad they arrived on their flight safely. So, all right. So, let's see here. You guys all ready? Here's how we're doing this. I'm going to call out... A country and then we're gonna get down narrower and narrower and we'll see here if possibly the winner is here watching right now okay so last the last winner was in Hungary uh, and this one is in the United States it'll be easier on my shipping pocketbook to ship one of these to Hungary is about 80 bucks it's really incredible how much it costs um, and it'll be about 25 so, say I if you're in the United States. And uh, in fact, start shouting out what state you're from. So. Uh, does Texas count? Texas is a state. I see... Utah, Nevada, New York, Florida, Minnesota, Maine, Texas, New York. A few New Yorkers here. Um, 
Kentucky. Uh, I like it. Illinois. Okay, so Raptor says he's from Illinois. The winner is in Illinois. Anybody else here from Illinois? You're in Ontario, United States, JJ? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Anybody else here from Illinois? Raptor is from Illinois. Um, yeah, so, all right. Okay, it's in Illinois. Uh, those of you who are in Illinois, did you guys enter? What city are you in? I don't know if this is a real city. I'm looking at this now. I don't know if this is a real city. Because it's the name of a video game. I kid you not. The city name here is the name of a video game. Google knows. Hey, let's reveal it on Google. Can anybody guess the name of a city in Illinois that's uh, also a video game name? Because it's kind of crazy. Hey, here it is. It's in Albion. Damn, this is a small little town. Okay. The winner is uh, Jeremy. I'll just leave it at first name. Jeremy in Albion, Illinois. Little, little tiny, tiny place. So. Yep. All right. What are the chances of that? Yeah. So, okay. Well, we will be contacting the winner by uh, email. And uh, so. All right. Okay. Okay, so we will be uh, emailing the winner. And uh, all right. And so, and if you didn't get in on it, the next, the next drawing, and we'll announce this one on the show as well, the next one will be for um, for a uh, one of these actual ship models, and uh, I think they're worth around five hundred bucks. So you cannot find them anywhere, brand new or anything. So you might find one on eBay or whatnot, but this is brand new in the box. So never been opened. All right. Very good. Okay, so now we got uh, we got a navy hook bill hooked up here. You know, I can see where this would off for just a little bit more EHP. Did we tell my other guy to buy a bunch of these yet? Let's see, export. In-game link. What is an in-game link? Hmm. How does that work? That in-game link doesn't seem to work, or do you have to put it in, in mail or something? 
Ah. So now I can click on that and then I can go to simulate. So this one has just a little bit more EHP. And just a little bit less DPS. What's the speed on it? Costs more, costs 37 instead of 20 something. So it's 500 EHP difference. It's about 8%. What did he win? Uh, they won a uh, a uh, the very last second decade collector's box that sold for around two hundred bucks. So we'll be shipping that out to him. All right. Um, so I think I'm going to build some of these just right here, like I've got this. I don't think... Uh... Yeah. Hey. So that one's ready to go. Now, on to the next thing. And these ones that I have here, I don't know, man. I guess I'll just. Keep them. And uh, just run with it. Strip them. Yeah, I stripped the one, but I think the rest of these are all okay. These are all, uh, they're all ready to go. Oh, JJ, you are such a party pooper on Halloween. Our kids went out, our kids uh, handed out candy this year. Okay, let's see here. Let's look at what else we got here. Uh, let's see, what is that? It's a heron. wonder what my uh, mastery is on a heron. Probably, uh, yeah, I probably got all the gun stuff, but I don't have all the data and relic stuff. Salvaging? Hmm. I didn't know they do salvaging. Scanning. So, gosh, 
are there no guns that fit on these? What was he flying that for? Let's take a look. Well, now that's an interesting fit. <laughs> so, it has a couple of blasters, a rocket launcher, and drones. This is the strangest looking thing. It might be awesome. Okay, let's get an in-game link. And let's take a look at this one. simulate this fitting all right so yeah antimatter charges and then it just has molinar rage rockets huh okay and this cap booster which makes it stable with cap boosters okay so 150 dps holy cow really A hundred and fifty DPS. It's a, it's a, um, oh, you don't like my Molinar pronunciation? Uh, you know, whatever. I'm okay with that. Let me speak in my redneck the way I want to. Um... This is very interesting. <laughs> this is very interesting because this is totally a surprise. And it has 150 DPS. Oh, but it only has 2800 EHP. All right, so what is this? Is this a shield? Yes, it's a shield booster. Oh my God. It's a shield rep. Hmm. I don't know. I think we should build some of these. What do you guys think? I I think just for the just for the for the giggles. It's for killing other bad fits. <laughs> sure. Hey, right, let's save this puppy. Let's see here. Okay. Now, do we have in the cargo hold. I don't know how much ammo this is really going to need. Okay. What kind of propulsion has it got? Afterburner. Yeah, you can change ammo amounts here, and then when I save it, it'll save in the new amounts. So in the null and void, um, yeah, I don't even know if I need that stuff in all honesty. Because this is going to be about um, keeping a little bit of distance or a little bit of... God, this thing has a scram on it, too. Could totally run level one missions in it. Yeah. What is its speed? It goes a thousand. 
off an afterburner. That's actually really good. Is that an oversized afterburner? No. Yeah. I don't know. I think this just looks fun. And I think that, uh, in all honesty, null and void, not needed. And, uh, and the shield stuff here. Holy cow. How many? Okay, so, so let's just put 100 cat boosters in each one. How many does that hold? Nine? Oh. So... and seven it's an even number for how many loads it does all right I don't know it's uh, it's quite interesting quite interesting so what's the weapon range yeah it's um, optimal is a thousand so yeah pretty much dead on the reload might be might be um, you know, but, uh, yeah, it's possible. All right, so we are going to save this. And, um, yeah, let's see here. All right, so it's the bait fit. All right. So there that is in uh, live shows. The bait fit. That, that'll be fun. Um, yeah, they're on YouTube. It's Marky Dragon Gameplay. So I don't uh, upload them to my main channel. They're on the gameplay channel. You have an ECM hook bill that misses every jam cycle. What, is, what does it mean by it misses every jam cycle? And sure, you can uh, share that fit. I'll take a look at it. All right, so these are, these are cheap. Buy a few of those. All right, those will be fun. Hey, right, let's see what else we got here. It's Caldari. Uh, the in-game name is Live Shows, L-I-V-E, um, S-H-O-W-S. Oh, I don't want that fit. Well, that's why I was wondering why that one was so special if um, it misses every everything. I think that uh, Killboard's having a problem with loading pages. Uh, I think Killboard's down. Something. Something's going on, or not going on, should I say. That'd probably be more apt to say. It's not going on. All right, I'm going to step away for just a moment. And uh, I mentioned uh, earlier that my um, camera is down outside. So we're going to have to go old school. And so I'll be right back here.
Oh, hey. So to the question of what that song is, it's Grant, Starship. Yeah, Monster Cat. So, and have I ever flown an eagle? Yes. You guys like you guys like that throwback? You sir, raw. Camera's not working, and so outside, so uh, yeah, decided to do that. JJ, fifteen months in a row. That's like two sevens and a halves. <sighs> He's been working hard on his maths. So he, he's getting it. <laughs> so let's see here. Um, two seven and a halves would equal 75 gold to everybody here in JJ's honor twice. All right. There we go. <laughs> yes. So and have I ever flown an eagle? Yes, I have one, in fact. So it's all fit up out in null. So, all right, so let's see this, a Merlin, where am I at on Merlins? Let's see here, on a Merlin, remember I'm going for stuff that I have Mastery 5 on, I don't think I have Mastery 5 on a Merlin yet, I think I'm just a little bit away. And mastery 2. Mastery 5, 94 days. All right. Well. We can look at this anyway. You, sir, raw. It's kind of expensive for Merlin. 24 million. All right, so, and I forgot to do sub love. So, Frode Hammer, you have good timing. Frode Hammer just subbed. Let me hook you up here. And uh, thank you for subbing. First time sub, 1,000 gold to you. You can spend that however you want. Dungeon raids, giveaways, or dancers. Everybody give it up for Frode Hammer because of them. Another 10 gold to everybody here in their honor. All right, so now, yes. So any final calls for subs? Because if you're a sub in just a couple of minutes, I'm going to give everybody who's a sub an extra thousand gold as a thank you. And uh, so you got like, I don't know, one or two minutes if you were thinking of subbing. I'm not trying to force anybody into it, but we're going we're gonna to do... Bonus gold to everybody here in just a couple minutes. So, all right, and let's see here. All right, so we'll do that in a minute. So I'm just looking at this fit. I don't know how much DPS it has. Let's um let's see here. It actually looks like I can do it, even though I'm not um you, sir, raw. All the way stable on this, yeah. 166 DPS, 7,500 EHP. It's got a web and it's got a scram. It's got an afterburner. Let's see what's the speed. 1,000 on the afterburner. Ah, let's see. Kevlar Lowell. Excellent. So... Looks kind of interesting, 166 DPS. All right, Kevlar Lowell, let's hook you up. And 
Let's see here. So I'm going to have to do a search for you. Twitch is not updating fast enough. Right. So, Killer Lowell, thousand gold to you. Spend that however you want. Dungeon raids, giveaways, or dancers. And uh, then everybody give it up for Kevlar. Because of them, another ten gold to everybody here in their honor. All right. Just want to make sure that. That it is showing an update. I wonder why it's waiting on an update for that. There we go. All right. So, one last sync up here. Hey, here we go. Thank you everybody who's a sub. I appreciate uh, all the extra support and everything of the show. And so, Everybody's a sub, online or offline, right now. It's getting uh, an extra thousand gold, so thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Love, love finer. Okay, so this fit right here, I don't know. Where does this shoot? 1,000. This is pure brawler. It is interesting. I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, thank you, ATX. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how I feel about this one, but... Um, I'll save it. I think, I think that um, it'll have a little bit more DPS when I finish up this other stuff, so I probably won't fly them for a couple of months, but I will go ahead and get some. All right, so one saved fitting for this, and I will share it in live shows here. And then I'll just pick up like 10 of them to test with it. All right. Until you encounter a Hecate, brawling is fun. Marky Dragon for Prez? Oh, I don't know about that. Okay, let's see what else is up Zervok's sleeve here. You know, here is another Caracal. You know, let me see if this is the same thing. I wonder if this is any different than in reality. Gosh, the site is so slow today. You know, if anybody knows the Killboard guys, they should put up ads for directing Plex sales to us because we'll pay them affiliate commissions that's probably more than enough to cover a little bit better web server. Oh, Mike, Twitch is blocked at work so you can find a YouTube. Oh no, it's actually better quality on uh, YouTube. Bitcoin is definitely taking off the last few days. It's crazy. All right, so we're just gonna, you know, wait here while the next page comes up. It's okay. I 
Yeah, well, uh, so with that said, uh, you know, a suggestion from somebody who's not me tends to go a long, longer way if you think it's a good idea. Okay, so I'm going to export this one out. Ooh, we can get an Anastasia date and we can meet Halloween beauties if I click on that ad. Uh, yeah, okay, so he got killed by quite a few people. So, 41,000 EHP, 335. This actually, there's something different about this one than mine. And it lasts 210. Mm hmm. There's definitely something different about this one. It's a cruiser. I wish I could compare. So, uh, 41,000 EHP, 335 DPS, and a cap of two minutes. This is 37, 384, and a cap of a minute 20. His fit is definitely better. But what was the DPS on this other one? Three thirty-five. It's a little bit more DPS on the other one, but this has more survivability. It also has longer cap, which is really important, I think. And it has uh, shield regen. Isn't that uh, inward amplifier? Isn't that doesn't that also help with shield regen? What is Bitcoin now? It hit sixty-five hundred or sixty-six hundred this morning. So yeah. It's absolutely amazing. So, in fact, I probably... Yeah, so it's 65.93 right now. Went up to 66 and a half, maybe even higher. Most of my holdings are in Bitcoin. I do not have a Bitcoin hardware wallet. I can't recommend one because I've never used one. So. Um, you know what? I'm kind of liking his fit here. So, and even though I don't have uh, all of my training done, only mastery two, I don't know. 23 days to be mastery four, 67 to be mastery five. That's actually not very far away. Oh, and it's heavy assault and heavy missile specialization. Heavy missiles. Is that really all I'm missing? Wow. So I actually have everything that I need for this right now. Hey, right, we're going to save this.
All right. Oh, look at that. I already had this fit here. No? Yeah? That's the same fit, isn't it? Close. Almost exactly the same. Okay, I'll share that one to live shows as well. So we're getting a few new Calari ships here, and so here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up uh, sending this over to my um, to my uh, market guy, and he's going to fill all the orders for these. And yeah, so plus I got to go through some of my other stuff that works well. So, because I need another Korax fit and Kestrels and, um, yeah, uh, my Jackdaw stuff is great. Um, maybe add some other stuff in there. Okay, but that one's good. So... Looking for more Kaldari stuff from Zarbox. Can't do that MOA yet. All right, we're waiting for the next page to load. What's the Twitch status stuff? Is there something wrong with Twitch? Yeah, he's got a Ferox, uh, a Faro here, and uh, I bet she does. Oh, Garmers. Hey, right, we'll get these pages loading up. I want a Gnosis. 96 million for it. I can fly a Gnosis, so. You think the TMT is lagging? What is TMT? This one's a little bit different. Is that a condor? Oh. Page isn't working. Osprey Navy issue. Okay. One more page and then uh, we'll call this amount good. I don't know what's on a, the TMT is on a three second response time. But I still have no idea what a TMT is. Okay. Well, 
We'll get into the bigger stuff later. What? He was flying a phoenix? All right. So, um, this is kind of expensive. This is an interceptor. It's kind of an expensive one, though. At 67 million. Not so sure what's so special about it either. You know? Let's import it. Take a look. Doesn't really look like maybe something that'll be that good. Okay, so, and, well, what's my mastery on this? Why is it, I have a mastery of two. It's all just guns. Does any of this control the power or CPU? Okay, 5% reduction in capacitor needs. Um, that might fix the power grid. This thing still looks like it needs an implant. Yeah, it's got seven thousand EHP, but that Heron also had a uh, shield wrap. How fast is it? Let's see here. Flies at 8 AU, 3,700. That's not that bad. 164 DPS, which that'll go up a little bit uh, when I've got more skills. All this stuff's training right now in 94 days. So, ah, okay, see, 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 I get it now. So, I mean, it looks interesting. Um, it costs a lot, though. It's quite expensive. I think we'll try it. We'll try a couple of these. Um, it'll be a few months before I can use it, but I'll just uh, buy them now and and uh, then try it. Okay, so save as. So we'll just, um, test this. And there it is in live shows. I'll buy like five of them. And, uh, you know, that'll allow me to just, you know, play around with them a little bit. Okay. So now this thing right here, 
This thing looks crazy, huh? And it's so expensive. It's got all guns on it. This thing is crazy looking, but let's uh, load it up and look at it. This thing is a tank. The Osprey, what size ship is this? Um, yeah, my two graphics cards are two different ones. I've got a Titan and, uh, then I've got a 980 and, uh, I'm using the Titan for all my gaming. Um, I just, I just recommend a 980 Ti if you're just going to do one and do one card and that'll be enough for the price. That'll be enough for right now. You don't need to SLI them. I haven't really seen any advantage to it at the moment. And that's a really beefy card. So, oh, this is a cruiser class. So 51,000 DHP, uh, flight range 47, and this is fall off range of 36. Um, speed of 2364. It's got a cap booster here, it's stable. Cap boosters offline. It's a minute and twenty seconds, which is probably long enough to get you reloaded. What do you guys think about this? Does this thing look a little bit crazy? When would you use spike and missiles at the same time? Well. The reason that it's that way is because you can't just go all missiles or all spike. It's 396 DPS. Oh, and it doesn't have any drones in it. So. Let's see, how do I put drones in this thing? I just do it from here. Let's see, what would be good drones for this might be warriors. Whoa! 477 DPS on this. Yeah, there's no tackle on this, is there? What's the point of the micro warp drive? Uh, just to be fast. Yeah, there is no tackle on this. Yeah, and it might be good in a faction warfare plex. Yeah, so you know what? 400, so, okay, so listen to this, folks. At 477 DPS, that is enough DPS to do a large. And the distance on these right here, you'd be doing the large at 30. This is an amazing looking ship. You'd be doing this at 30. And I'll, I'll uh, share a link uh, in live shows in a minute. So. Yeah, I think that... Um, that this is very, very interesting looking and it really a large, uh, a large complex 
one. Also, this might be really great. Why not go over a rattlesnake and do a large? Because a rattlesnake will cost five times as much. This is a hundred million. So, um, this looks very interesting. We're gonna build a couple of these and we're gonna take it out and try it. I'm actually excited about this. This is very interesting. If I get tackled, I'm toast. Maybe, maybe. But this can shoot from far enough away. Oh. Yes, and it is very fast for a cruiser. Flying at 2364. This is very fast for a cruiser. Let me, uh, I mastery two on this. 67 days to mastery five. Heavy assault missiles, heavy missile specialization. You know what? I've got everything I need on this for this. I don't need heavy missiles. We're not flying it with heavy missiles. This is awesome. So, yeah. Th this, thing, this thing looks spectacular. I can't wait to take this out and run some sights with this. So, and if I get tackled... I've got plenty of space to where I can get away and it's a five second alignment. Yeah, this is not bad at all. Now, yeah. okay, so let's, um, okay, so I've got, um, I got warriors in here. The warriors are really more about PVP. If I put in something else, then I could uh, hit the rats better, but the Warriors are more about PvP because they're quick. And uh, let's see what kind of stuff we've got in here. It's cap boosters, spike. Okay, let's put this up to 2,500. And um, so, Scourge Fury missiles. I'm going to put this up to 1,000. And then also uh, for doing rats. And what, Spike, what does that hit? Let's see, let's, um, cause that's actually gonna be both. So we're gonna go 4,500 there. It doesn't cost much more to put this much more in. So. We're going we're gonna to turn this into a nice farming machine that can PvP. Um, we're theory crafting with anything that, that I've got the skills to fly. I've been focusing on the, the fi Mastery 5 with stuff, but... Oh, you know, there's one other thing i got to look at. I act actually may not have the be able to fly this. No, I can so I just wonder if I have uh, all of my Caldari Cruiser stuff trained up. Let's see, Spaceship Command. Yeah, I have Caldari Cruiser 5, so no problem. So, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. I can't wait. And I have all my missile skills all the way up. So I've got just a little bit of, uh, of my gun skills that, so this DPS is gonna go up a little bit higher. Jezebel, 500 bits, cheer, woo! 50 gold to everybody here in Jezebel's honor. So thank you, thank you. And that's gonna put us up to 598 bucks on the stream machine upgrade. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. There we go. By the way, folks, here, I'll show you something else here if I've got it up here. We're gonna do, before we get done with the, uh, with the other, um, here, let me get a, before we get done with um, doing the stream machine, 
I've got one other thing here that we're gonna we're gonna do a little mini thing on. And it's this right here. And um, not the 12 input, the 10 input. 200 bucks. This is gonna remove godly echo and it's gonna allow for me to use my um, Syntrix hardware. And so I'm gonna switch over to that maybe next week um, and we'll do a short run on this, 200 buck run on that. And then and then uh, gonna put that in. And it's gonna allow me to run uh, multiple microphones simultaneously into different systems. So, yeah. Okay. So anyway, uh, this just looks really spectacular. Can I link the item? Uh, sure. Yeah. I actually put it on my wish list, I think. Let's see here. Welcome to the dragons. Yeah, here is a link to this. Yeah, and I have a wish list on on Amazon, but I've never done anything with it. But anyway, yeah, there's that link. Okay, so let's save this. And um, this is a kiter. God, I can't wait to do this. This ship looks like so much fun. I'm gonna blow a ton of money on these ships. Okay, now I'll share this. Uh, see, is this a Logi? No. Huh. It's Osprey Navy issue. Why does it say I can't do it? What am I missing on it? Okay, right, so here is a link to it. I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna buy like 10 of them. Can't use the guns. Oh, let's see here. Oh yeah, I got the gun, I need the guns. Okay. Bah, humbug. Okay. Damn, cause this looked really, really fun. To do like right away um, yeah okay so twenty five days for the retired required skills on that shit skill injectors for the win I'm at 50 some million though. So when I hit 70, is it? Is it when you hit 70 million that it no longer becomes viable? Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to think about that. Yeah, apparently I don't have these books either. Can I buy them? Some of these are available at the station. Ah, yes. Buy that. Okay. And then medium railgun specialization. This will get me into my MOA too.
Okay, let's see here. Gunnery. Man, do I really want to put this up in front of all this? I really want to fly this, so I think the answer is probably yes. Uh, should we be able to get a specialization book from the LP store? Hmm. That's okay. I don't have a ton of LP on this character like I do some of my others, I don't think. Yeah, I only have uh, 147,000. She has not been able to fly very much because they've been so depressed. I mean, literally, they're like fucking crying every day because they can't get out of tier one. All right. Yeah, let me figure out what is the best route on these to do. Because what I'm doing is I'm messing up my other frigate stuff that I'm working on by bumping this in front. And, you know, I guess that's okay, but... We're gonna finish off that uh, sharpshooting. And then the medium hybrid turret is required for specialization, medium railgun specialization. Seventeen days on that. Mm. And the medium railgun specialization. So this is where I can cool it off a bit on the training. So that's three hours. See my rapid firing here is two days. These are all in order of how long they take. So I get the most bang for the buck in the shortest period of time. So. Okay, so that's 21 hours. So next one's gonna be five days. So. Bang for the buck wise. And go there. And then it's 28 days. Wee. Yeah, I think we're gonna. Trajectory analysis, 5% bonus per skill level, weapon turret accuracy fall off, and this is 2% bonus per skill level to damage medium turrets. Okay, we're gonna go down here. So we're at 300 days training. So she's at 54 million, and how much would each skill injector give me? 300,000 skill points right now for about a price of about 800 million. So, now also this character sits in Jita typically um, and has, uh, you know, the um, implants plus fives. Uh, I've been, she's got her boosters on right now. So, do I have my attributes set up correctly for gunnery skills? You know, I don't mess with those too much. I guess I have a lot of gunnery stuff here, don't I? So... I don't know which one is... Um, so the skills... Let's see here. Railgun specialization. Attributes. So it's primarily perception for the... Let me just look at another one of these. Yeah, so it's primarily perception. Okay. Yeah, perception is 27. I got a couple of remaps available. Just hover over the gunnery progress bar. Ah, there you go. Okay. And then this right here. So skill reduced by seven days. So four of them a month 
worth of it would be three point two billion. Oh, they got the Crimson Harvest stuff on on the market now, because it wasn't work. They weren't working on the market. Yeah, now you can view market details. Twenty three million each. I will go out and earn some. So those in Jita, actually, what are they? What are they at in Jita? Let's see here. Let me go over my Jita character. It just might be expensive here, is all. Fourteen million each, and these work till like the twenty eighth, right? Yeah, one day for bonuses without uh, biology five. And so, let's see what it does to my character here. So I'm at 569 days, eight hours, 12 minutes. So 568, 13. Takes off, uh, gosh. Was that about 18 hours it takes off? Yeah, it's worth to get biology three. So if you put one of these in, put it in and immediately start training up to biology three User or four. Rock. So don't um, do not do anything else. Just use that in your training time, biology three, four. And then, then by the time you got the next one up, um, you'll be able to uh, extend that out further. And so without any biology, it's 24 hours. With biology five, it's 48 hours. It doubles it. So, uh, Simple Nav, thank you for following. I missed that 11 minutes ago. Thank you, buddy. And USMC Tanker, thanks for the memories. Why, are you leaving? Or are you buying drinks? <laughs> so, USMC Tanker, 26 months in a row. That's more than two years, which means we are at 520 gold. To everybody here in USMC Tanker's honor... My favorite tanker. Yeah. So there we go. He's always here, very supportive. Everybody should tell him thank you because he has been around forever and always very helpful and the first one to cheer when somebody subs. Have you guys ever noticed that? Yeah. He's an awesome guy. One of these days we're going to meet in person. So, yep. And I'll buy you a drink, and then you can buy me one. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy about... Um, uh, you couldn't buy Bitcoins for your country? You just link but no luck. Guys, we are going to start accepting Bitcoin in our store. Yeah. So, I'm looking forward to that. We're trying to work out the details right now. There's some there's some funkiness going on in uh, the the place that we've been wanting to use for Bitcoin acceptance, and we might actually just start doing it manually. So, yeah, we'll figure that out. Old age, Marky. Yeah. What? Yeah. You know, speaking of old age, I wish that my beard here, you know, instead of just being this gray, why can't it just go white? You know, and look at these funky, uh, you know, dark strands in there. This side's darker. It's all, it's all proportionate there and everything, but one side's just darker than the other. So, yeah. So you're wanting to invest in Bitcoin, you have no idea what you're doing, just buy some and hold it. 
Bitcoin is doing amazing right now. The pros are saying buy at any point up to 7,500 in value and you're gonna make money. Now, that's not a guarantee. I am not a financial advisor. Putting that out there. Oh, just diet. Yeah, but then you have to diet all the time. Can you imagine doing the, the shit to dye, your, to dye your mustache and everything like what you do to your hair to make it white or whatnot? And the, and you know, because my whiskers, I, I hate shaving. It grows so freaking fast. And, um, uh, and it's just, it's just not worth it because then I'd have, then I'd be showing the line, you know, the women, you know, they see the, you see the, that they haven't done it in a while. And, and you're like, Oh, you know, you just notice it. And that'd be, just be all around here. Come on. It's going to look weird. So, and I ain't going to diet purple. Nothing like that. Lose a few Titans and my beard will go turn white. I can fly one right now. I just need the money for it. So, yeah, if somebody donated me a Titan, I'll, I'll fly it. Yeah. So, okay. So we've got, um, got that. Yeah. I wonder what the price is, the price history on this. Yeah, I think they're probably going to go up a little bit right now. I want to buy two more of them just to have them here. All right. You had dark hair all over, but your beard came out solid white. Yeah. You know, I started uh, going gray early 20s. Everybody's always thought I was older than I am. So, okay. I only got about 10 more minutes, folks. Actually, we got to wind stuff down. I've got a meeting in 10 minutes. So, we unfortunately are running out of time. I thought about this. Maybe if I feel like it, I might come back on later tonight. We're going to send this mail of what all to buy. I'm going to leave the other uh, research stuff up. So that's already, uh, I have two billion worth of stuff to buy there that I put in there right now. And um, so... Yeah, I have uh, I have a meeting with the video game company that um, it looks like I'll be designing their affiliate system for them. And I don't know. I don't know if I'll be designing it or just giving some advice or whatnot. But one of the things that I do. So, okay. Let's, um, let's get a giveaway going. Exclamation point ticket space one or higher in Twitch chat. This will get you in on a... Uh, standard edition. It's worth about 20 bucks. Currently, they're on sale for 10. I really recommend going with the premium if you can afford it. If you're buying them, it's only a couple days left on this sale. I think we got the last of our codes in today that we're going to have on this sale. So when they're gone, they might be gone. I don't know if we're going to be able to get any more in. So if you guys haven't seen this, I mean, this is awesome for the giveaway. So get your tickets in because the the standard has 20, it's 20 bucks is what it normally costs, but it's 10 right now. It has 30 days Omega time. It can upgrade, it can extend your Omega if you've never applied one of these before, a standard or premium. It also can make an alpha into Omega. It has four premium ship skins and 150 plex, and uh, it's really nice. So um, anyway, there is, there's that. But if you're going to buy one, exclamation point coupon in Twitch chat or link in the description in YouTube, um, just go for the premium one because it has $47 worth of stuff in it for 25 bucks. And so if you add it all up, you'll see that. In fact, if I got my, I got my other character up here. This character, I have a box here. I put everything in. And let's see here. Oh, and we have the item codes, which are on sale. They have the golden pods. They're 10 bucks off. We're going to end the sale on those exact same time we end the sale on the others. And the premium here 
It says three point uh, four five billion isk for the stuff that comes in it, and then uh, another another you know a month of Omega is what one point five billion. So it's almost five billion worth of stuff in here. Six hundred fifty plex multiple character training certificate. It's got eight ship skins in it. Um, four of them are cruisers, and it's got clothing you'll never wear. Or if you do, no one will ever see it. So, um, anyway, I'm just saying that uh, this deal is almost over, and uh, so do get in on it. And um, and really, if you like the show and want to support it, go to your corp, go to your alliance, post in the forums or whatnot, a link to this deal, because um, you can be a hero for them. So... A lot of people just don't know about it. And it's not a CCP deal. It's us. So you won't be able to get this at CCP. You just pay, you'll pay full price at CCP. Okay, so Elrond, King of Elbs, and ends and a slide. Thank you for following. Okay, I'm getting this last one written up. So you got about less than a minute left. And if my phone rings, I'm going to mute because I have to take this meeting just in case I call a couple minutes early. But we're still going to do this draw. All right. Does everybody have their tickets in? I still see tickets going in. Tomorrow, we're going to have giveaways too. Tomorrow, I'm going to have a premium and and we're gonna have um, a ship skin. So yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty good. Looking forward to tomorrow's show. Which I'm gonna try and get started early because I also have more meetings and I have to go to Tampa, middle of rush hour. Ugh. So, okay, everybody should have their tickets in. I am closing this. Oh, gosh, a few more people getting in. Okay, I'll wait 30 seconds more, and that's it. By the time you hear this, it will be, it'll be too late. Yeah. All right. Closing it and drawing. Sentinel, Sentinel 77, you are the winner. Congratulations. Stop moving around. I'm trying to copy the name. There we go. All right. Sentinel 77. Check your Twitch mail. You'll find it contained within. So, okay. Um, so, okay. So that's a giveaway. Now, we don't have to re leave quite yet. We're going to do just a little bit more. And um, But I just wanted to make sure we had that um, that out of the way. Skill training completed. Ooh. Yeah. So, hey. Okay. I can't wait to fly this. So it's going to be a couple weeks, but um, that'll be fine. So I've got that. I got that training up. I'm gonna buy some. They'll just be parked here, ready to go. So any spin tires in the near future? Yeah, we're gonna have more spin tires. I gotta. Um, I gotta figure out what my schedule is next week because um, I believe I'm flying to Little Rock, Arkansas, for a secret mission Wednesday and Thursday. So. Yeah. Which I can't tell you what it's all about. You guys just all have to guess. All right, let's um let's let's look at our next fit here. We'll see how far we get. If my phone rings, we're done. And I'll just mosey on out. Oh, and I'll make sure that my mic is muted. Did I ever tell you guys about the time when uh, I was talking to the CEO of Atari and I had an open mic? Ha! <laughs> 
he called while I was on the show and I ended the show and except I didn't really end it. Yeah, it was kind of funny. Well, no, not really. I didn't say anything that would get me in trouble. So. All right. So. Hey, what's the next one here? Let's see if we can bang out another one of these. So this is a Condor. Oh, he's got speed on this. This is Tackle. What are these? Balmer Series Compact Tracking Disruptors. Ooh, that looks interesting. So. Oh, I have to. Let's see here. All right, let's look at this. So optimal range disruption and tracking speed disruption. Ooh, so optimal range for people who are shooting missiles and tracking speed disruption for people who are shooting guns. I like it. And Scourge Fury Light Missiles, 90 DPS. Oh my God, that ain't shit. And these aren't gonna help. So they fly 42, 74 DPS, and these are uh, 31 and 90 DPS. This is for fleets and tackle. So, yeah, fleets and tackle. I don't know that, that this would be 90 DPS. Okay, so let me pose a question to you guys who do a lot of PVP. So at 90 DPS, and let's see how close is this oh warp disruptor 24 so if i'm if i'm flying at 20 15 to 20 and what's my speed gonna be 4000 oh my god this might be the beast so if i'm able to disrupt their tracking or lower their their targeting range um even though it's only 90 DPS and keeping them from warping off because I got a 24 kilometer range here. Uh, yeah, it's cap stable and it's cheap too. It's under 10 million. Uh, I could orbit these guys and I'm so fast that most people would not be able to catch me while I'm orbiting them. This thing actually looks really exciting. I gotta say that it looks really cool. So I think that it needs it needs more. Um, let's see. And what was the range on on these? Shit, that's perfect. The fury damage per second thirty point two, and these. I mean all. Bring some more of these, but. So this is for pure PVP. Yeah, can't warp in on somebody who's already in a plex. No, but this is gonna be a lot of fun and it's really, really cheap. It's really cheap. So that has me excited that it's so cheap. And you just choose your right, you know, optimal range disruption or tracking speed disruption. So, yeah, this would be really good against other frigates. Uh, it might not be able to break tank on some things that have a good rep on them. But maybe. Maybe if they run out. You know, if they're using uh, cap boosters or something like that. 
Yeah. Okay, we're going to save this, and I'll share this fit with you guys. And so this is this is a condor, but this is a this is a frustration. That's what this is. This is totally a frustration fit. Oh, what do I not have in here? Weapon disruption. Oh my goodness, really? Pfft. Man. Welcome to the dragons. That's one nice thing about this station. There's a lot of skill books here. Warp disruption one. Oh, let's see here. Is that going to be under navigation? Where is warp disruption? Electronic systems. There it is. How much further do I get? 5% less capacitor need per skill. What? It doesn't actually... That's weird. So it doesn't give me more distance? Hmm. Yeah, I've got I've got both strain both scripts in here. So it's less capacitor use. I'm already stable. It's less capacitor use the weapon disruption that's kind of strange so I'm still gonna be stable though just the way this is hey right, so we'll just uh, get it up to three and uh, just leave it at that that's I think fine welcome to the dragons Hey. Right. The twenty five percent off email till this morning and it's over. Cormid, what are you talking about? That's not from us, right? Okay. That's an excellent looking fit. Ah, the subs thing. All right, so that I think is gonna be it for the day. So I'm gonna have this meeting here shortly. And uh, all right, well it's gonna be fun. I think uh, I'll leave the browser here. A couple more, a couple more things here like this uh, huh. oh there's some training to do for that okay that looks really fun what is this one uh, another one pretty much same thing oh and the Garmer yeah oh this is a this is a brawler Whew, expensive JJ wants to do this don't you Okay, so that's going to be it for today. Probably won't be a stream tonight, but there's going to be tomorrow. And maybe we'll just get started early. And uh, yeah, I have your fit that you, uh, that you gave me, JJ, and I'll take a look at that too. So, but I'll get started on these other things and get them over so I can start playing with them. 
And uh, so, all right, that's going to be it for today. And on the way out, um, my uh, camera for the backyard is not working. So I went old school. And uh, so here you go. Hope you enjoy. See you all tomorrow. So